Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I am here with hashtag CS8, right? Eight? That's crazy. We have done, well, we've done nine of these, but eight of them have been numbered. The very first one, this all started because me and Tacoma Comics uh, did a joint thing where I grabbed 10 pop channels, he grabbed 10 comic book channels, and we had them do a swap. Pop for comics, comics for pops. And then people seemed to really enjoy it. So we started doing additional swaps, giving them themes, different names. We have done, this is number eight, right? I mean, crazy. Number nine is getting ready. We are putting it together as we speak. So I did get my box. I don't know who it's from because I chose not to look. I try to keep it a secret as long as possible, just like, you know, a machine picks them all. So I don't know yours either. <laughs> all right. Also, I want to make sure that I thank some people who have helped me out tremendously. I want to thank Caitlin over at Funko Pops and Unicorns, Jenny at the Rue Crew, Sassy My Honey over at Sassy Cajun, and Brandy at Geek Meets Eats. Every one of them helped with a part of this swap. Brandy did the graphics for the thumbnails. Um, each of the other girls helped run a chat room. You have no clue. And I even want to shout out Fox because Fox Crown also helped. We usually try to do some kind of extra giveaway and I had a returned CS7 box. So with the donations, we did a giveaway for that box and Fox was nice enough to run that duck race for me to pick out the winner who was Sassy Cajun. <laughs> okay, so that box is actually on the way to her already. We did end up raising over $225. Actually, I think it was closer to like $235, $240 for uh, Puzzle Squared. Now don't forget, on April 1st, which is this Friday, Big Dog Dave is going to have a whatnot auction for the charity Puzzle Squared and all that money is going to get donated also. So run over there. There's customs, there's donations, there's all kinds of things you can bid on and win. Don't be left out. Go check it out. I'm serious. All right. So now let me grab my box and I'm going to bust into it and see what I got. It's a pretty hefty box. Um, pretty good size. Does say CS8 right there, which is one of the requirements. Just try to remember to put that on there. So that they know when they get the box. It did get a little crinkle right there, but hopefully that's fine. No big deal. So the the theory, the thing with the boxes are they should be minimum $75. They are a flashback box. So something in here should bring back a memory. It doesn't have to be a retro item, just has to be a flashback item. So maybe there's an album from when you were in junior high. Maybe there's a book from when you were in elementary school. Maybe you started collecting something in kindergarten. Maybe, you know, I mean, there could be, it could be tons of different things. You built the box however you want. Now there are multiple things you can do with the box. You can make a game, you can ask questions, you can wrap. Some people just build the box. So I'm gonna open this one. We're gonna see what's inside. I'm really excited and I've been waiting. This swaps run a little longer than most of them and I can't wait to see what I got and who I got. So let me make some space here. All right, so I'm gonna cut it open and then I'm gonna set it down here to the side. I'm not sure how the inside looks. Like again, I'm trying not to look at who sent it to me and I know it's really hard because we all wanna look. Uh, so I'm not even sure what they wrote. They could have blocked out the name. They could have put a fake name. Again, like I said, I'm trying not to look. Woo, all right, that's, wow. There's all kinds of stuff in here, okay. I'm gonna set the box right there. The first one says, who am I? So this I have to save till the end because I have to try to figure out who they are. All right, so let's see here. Let's go with this first. There is it says Groundhog's Day, the game. So that's pretty cool. I know this was, um, I believe, a Bill Murray movie. I don't know if that says it on here or not, but that's pretty cool. 
We do do game night uh, once a month with my parents. So I take Spectre over there and he does it, you know, so you can see his grandparents. And we do game night once a month. All right, and then I got retro item number two. Uh oh. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, okay, I'm not sure what retro item number one is. Okay, I'm not really sure. Um, I have another one here, but it's not numbered. So let me show this one first. It says retro items, so many memories, and it is the Goonie pen set. So somebody who likes the Goonies. Um, brings quite a few people to my mind, but that's really cool. I did buy one of these for the music set not too long ago. And this says, and this is Chevy Chase. Oh, is this, uh, yep, Christmas Vacation. And this one said retro item number two, need I say more, bingo. This is really cool, really, really cool. Uh, my parents' favorite Christmas movie is Christmas Vacation, so I've seen it many, many, many times. Uh, let's see what we got next in here. I do have, oh, I have M&Ms. And I, oh. And I have a cookies and cream Twix bar. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. I think there's all kinds of things in here. All right. So, wow. Um, okay. This is Zombie Fright. It's actually kind of cool. Get this pen. That's pretty cool. And then this one is Loot Crate. Looks like Black Panther. That's pretty cool. And then this one says, forget about it. Pop culture, artist edition. These are all really cool. Really, really cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. This box is loaded. All right, let's see here. Okay, I got a tiny ghost with a treasure map on it. I mean, if I have to link things together, I'm going to say this might have something to do. I mean, I know this doesn't, but I would say it might have something to do with the Goonies. Or maybe something else they collect. Uh, Batman. Batman the Penguin, Batmobile the Penguin Ride. Oh, this is pretty cool. I've not seen this one. I have a couple of these. So that's pretty cool. I got to show those. Um, I got... Hmm. I'm gonna assume this is a flashback item too. It's Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm not gonna open them. I am actually going to hold on to them and let Spectre open them because I know nothing, nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh. But I'm gonna assume this is a flashback item. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, I got, oh, no suit for you Seinfeld shirt. Um, let me see if it's my size. Oh, no, not my size, but still really cool shirt. I'm sure I can find somebody that will fit into it. Ah, so put that there. I did get some cards here. I'm not sure who all of them are. Um, this is an artist card. To me, this looks like, um... Like RoboCop or something. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, and then this one. This one I'm not sure of. But this is pretty cool. It's actually a really cool car. And then this one. Wow. Hmm. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So I'm not really sure who these are, but, you know, I know these cards are really cool. I have some other ones. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, I got some stuff to the side here. And let's see. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to assume this is like a magazine that they used to get. Let me see if there's a year on here. Oh, this one does say February 2022. Uh -oh.
but horror culture, that, this is pretty cool. I love magazines, so this is really cool. All right, let's see what we got here. This is Daniel Bo Kyle. Uh, oh, okay, for Fortnite, Family Guy, and Heather Stone. That's pretty cool. And then this one, isn't this Sergeant somebody, Sergeant Slaughter or something? Uh, Sergeant, no, it's not Sergeant K, maybe? I don't know. But that's pretty cool. All right, let me see what else. Oh, well, I got another bag of M&Ms, so I'm starting to wonder. Willowdale College, Ian's book. This is from... Alright. Okay, so this is actually... Um, oh, oh, from Onward. Oh, I liked Onward. Onward was really cool. So this is... Just a little notepad from Willowdale College. This is actually really cool. I really enjoyed Onward. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but if not, you should go watch it. It was a really cool movie. So I like that. Plus, I use notebooks all the time. And if this is who I think it is, they use notebooks too, if I remember correctly. All right, so this is TWDU Shop, $15 value, scratch and reveal. Um, receive $15 off your purchase of $30 or more. So I'll have to check this out. So that's pretty cool. All right. And then this. Oh, Daryl Dixon Holiday Ornament Walking Dead. That's pretty cool. Open it up so I can show you guys. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, I really like this. So that's one side. That's the other side. So this is pretty cool. This might be something I would display more than just at Christmas time. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. I got a Winnie the Pooh Amazon exclusive. I love Winnie the Pooh. Actually, I love Eeyore. Just love, love Eeyore. But Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorites. And that's probably why I love you so much. And then in here, oh! <laughs> it says scented. It's a little tiny stitch licking an ice cream cone. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I think I have this pop somewhere. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, I got a scoot over here, and I got a mystery mini right here all right all right so I got some stickers right here um they look like Lego stickers it's Loki Venom and I believe I know everybody's gonna make fun of me but like dead shot dead something right all right but really cool um, and I got, oh, Venom, the Pop in the Box exclusive. This is actually a really cool box. Pretty awesome. Get our stay off of it. It's a pretty awesome pop. Okay, so now I have a soda, and I have the Retro Mini. I'm going to go ahead and pop the soda and show you the figure first. It is Groot, and Groot is just adorable. But I also wanted to see how tiny this figure was. Like, you know, you know how the Batgirl figure is really small? I wanted to see if Groot was really small too, and he kinda is. But look how cute he is. He's adorable, just adorable. Uh, all right, and then I'm gonna open the retro toy. And then, oh, 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 it's right there. It's about to say, I think I buried something. All right, um, so the retro toy. These are the options. Now, I do have a few of these somewhere, but I think 
the one I haven't got that I would like to get is the pet monster one right there. So let's see if I can get lucky with that. I think I got a potato head. That's what I think. Let's see, but I do think I got a potato head. Yep, I got a potato head. I got Mrs. Potato Head. That's kind of cool. Alright, so that's really cool. So this actually was a really cool box. Um, my favorite thing in the box... Decisions, decisions. I have to pick something, right? As I'm dropping everything, trying to look for what my favorite is. Um, actually, I really like this. And I think after that would probably be the pins, because I like pins. And the other thing is, is if this is who I think it is, I have a whole collection of their pins. So let's find that little card. Who am I? Let's open it up. Don't forget, guys, there are four days of videos being dropped. This is day one. I always include a playlist, so check out the playlist and make sure you're checking out every video. Every day we'll have 10 to 11 videos. And if you're interested in being in the next swap, just reach out to me, Sassy Cajun, Caitlin from Funko Pops and Unicorns, Jenny from The Roo Crew, you can even reach out to Brandy, and Brandy can um, steer you in the right direction if you're not sure who the other people are. Okay, so let's see. It's who I thought it was. So there's a lot of stickers in here, and so um, let me just read the note first. It says, so I hope you like this box and the retro items. Had to do two, and the Batman Returns was like, a this box has been packed and and sealed since January 10th oh, okay because the rule was these boxes should already be packed already be sealed and ready to ship when we gave you the name these were true blind boxes they just need to had need to have a retro item in them some of us put multiple retro items as you see the luau did and in case you didn't realize, that is who I got, was Andrew, the Luau. Oh, this one's a magnet, so awesome. I put these ones on my refrigerator. Not sure I have that one in a magnet, and I have a lot of his stickers and a lot of his pins. So awesome, thank you so much to the Luau. Um, he has participated in, I wanna say probably all of these, if I know correctly. I think he's been in CS1 all the way to now. So again, guys, let your friends know. Let everyone know, everyone is welcome. You know, uh, just because you may not get along with A or something, doesn't mean you don't get along with B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, so everybody is welcome. We just ask that you treat everybody in the chat rooms with respect, because there are usually three chat rooms so that you can get all the info from the drop dates to the donations to uh, everything else. We do a lot of different stuff. So if you're interested, again, reach out to us. And again, thank you, thank you so much to the Luau for always participating and for the amazing box. All right, and hope you guys enjoy all the videos. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, leave a comment and let me know. And you know what? Make sure you check out all the other videos. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.